You guys remember when we installed these F beads? What a cool detail. We're older now, we're wiser now, and we want to show you, careful, we're older now, and we're wiser, and we want to show you how we did it with a little bit better footage, we got better camera. Let me show you how we install these F beads as baseboards. But since I got an F in shop, and now I'm going to be putting an F bead in this shop, I feel like Steve's probably better off explaining it. So. Why don't I do all the work and just listen to Steve's soothing voice tell you how we did it. Okay. Hey Steve, tell them about the impediments before I cut out the drywall. Okay, can I talk now? Okay, uh, impediments. What does he mean by impediment? I guess the stuff on the ground. Okay, maybe. I'm done with the impediments, Steve. You can go ahead and tell him what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so the next logical step is... The, the next... <laughs> it's not hammer drill. Tell him what hammer drill does, Steve. Tell him about hammer drill. Don't want uh, that. Okay, well, a hammer drill is essentially when your drill is hammering. <laughs> what do you think of that drill bit? All right, assuming he's done interrupting me, at this point- Tell me about making sure the screws are up. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do- Do I even need to do this? Okay, thank you, Steve. So I went ahead and I got a piece of the floor. You're gonna wanna take your flooring that you're gonna use, and you're gonna wanna use this F bead, but I don't know why I'm explaining it. Steve, you could just- just explain this part. We want to make a mark on the wall. Can you tell them what I'm doing? Okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll explain. But as long as you promise that you'll actually let me explain and you won't just chime in with more random stuff. You guys like my new teeth? I got a clean yesterday. I had coffee this morning, though. Very yellow. Okay, so he's measured the reveal and he... He's essentially... All he's doing is he's removing a section of drywall that's the width of the reveal so that when he slides the bead against the wall the reveal section is able to slide against the stud and have it be flush with the outer drywall when it's mudded so all he's doing here all he's really doing here aside from posing for the camera is removing about three quarters of an inch worth of drywall so that the bead will fit underneath giving the reveal and the illusion of a shadow when it's installed Tell him how hard that was, Steve right now. I guess it was it was pretty hard. I, all he's all he's doing now is just putting a, a piece of flooring underneath to make sure that the bead fit. Okay, that should work. I'll just keep doing that and uh, yeah, take it away, Steve. Okay, uh, okay. Let's just quickly recap before I get interrupted. You're gonna mark the width of the reveal bead along the. Uh, and it's not that tough. Absolutely, it's a breeze. Okay. <laughs> all right. So the drywall's been removed. Trim text, F bead. Get an F this class. Oh, okay, I think he's done. At this stage, you're gonna run your flooring and you're gonna run it a little bit closer to the framing than you normally would because the F bead will give you some coverage, but you don't want any gaps when it's finally installed. Now at this stage, you're gonna to want to protect your floors with some floor protection for the next stage and get ready to- Okay, thank you, Steve. Okay, so I've done a boatload of work. I'm now here, I'm wearing my hair today, not a hat. Still the same guy though, it's still just me. Here's where we're at. We've cut the drywall back. We've installed our finished floor. And now all we gotta do is we gotta take these F beads and we gotta cut them into miter. So we've already gone ahead, we've mitered the corner. We've cut it on a 45 degree angle. When we put it into the corner, there's gonna be no seam, no gap. It's gonna fit together like a puzzle piece. So watch this. Now all we're gonna have to do, slide the pieces in, which we know is the right height. We're gonna glue it, staple it, but watch what happens when I push this other piece in too. This piece comes sliding across, that they dock together perfectly. Now all we have to do, a little bit of glue, a little bit of staples, a little bit of mud, but I'm done talking, let's let Steve explain this. Okay, well, I, I guess it's really more reiterating what he just said. Um, he just told you what he's doing, but <laughs> at this stage, at this, <laughs> Something about that needs. All you're trying to do at this stage is apply the TrimTax 847 adhesive, which is a really, really strong and yet somewhat flexible adhesive that allows you to both stick things to the wall, but also gives you a little bit of time to play and move them, have them situated where you want them before you go ahead and fasten them with some staples. So we usually end up putting some staples in every six to 12 inches. You just wanna make sure that that bead is good and attached to the wall. So throw as many staples in as you need and make sure that it's sitting exactly where you want it before you throw a staple in because once you staple it, it's locked in place. 
A quick tip for getting perfect miters is if you find that you can't get them to line up, throw a bead of tape on the back and line up your miters before you install it. That way... Did Steve do a good job of explaining what I was doing? Because it's very hard. Okay. Uh, okay. Next week. <laughs> Show them how it's done, Steve. I mean, I'm trying. You're going to show them. I'll explain the step. Um, so again, this is a pretty, pretty straightforward step, but you want to embed that bead in a layer of mud. So take a six inch trowel, get some mud, and you're going to want to run your first coat from the mud bump all the way up the wall. And then take this moment to just clean out any mud that's gotten underneath okay. into your reveal. So that's coat one done. Time. Now it's time for coat two. Take a bigger trowel and I, I grab a little bit more mud and you're going to run the same process again. Once that's dry, it's time to sand. So get yourself the Trimtex Black Widow and sand that puppy smooth. Also use this time to clean out any mud that has dried on the inside of the reveal bead as that will show after. Give it a quick vacuum and a quick wipe down and you're ready to go. Okay, so now we're at the stage where this thing has been mudded, it's been sanded and it's ready for prime. Uh, prime time. It's ready for primer. We're not going to do that in this case because we have something a little bit more fancy going on here But we just wanted to stop and show you kind of what it looks like at this stage If you wanted to just prime your walls paint your walls a certain color We like to make these F beads uh, darker color to make it look more like a shadow But you don't have to you can make it the same color as the wall But stay tuned We want to show you what this looks like after we do a wall treatment on all our walls and then we remove the floor protection You're gonna want to see it so there you have it, process pretty much done from start to finish. Now these beads typically come in white as they're made of vinyl, but as Dan said, we painted ours a little bit darker so that it looks more like a shadow. So when we do this textured wall finish, which we're giving you a quick preview of here, you can find in our video links here. Uh, when it's all said and done, the reveal bead provides a striking contrast to a traditional baseboard and it ends up making the room look far more interesting than it would with a typical baseboard installation. So as you can see, when the paper is removed, this room pops. She really jumps out at you. And that's partially because of this F reveal bead. Wow, I, I actually got out everything I was trying to say. I didn't get interrupted once. Okay, so we're all finished. The bottom F bead is installed, it's painted, and we even did this fancy plaster uh, effect on the entire wall. So F beats from Trimtex, this is what we did. Just imagine what you could do. That's true, actually. I'm, I'm trying to imagine all the stuff that we could do with a bead like that. Like what if, what if for example, you ran it, rather than just running it a, along the baseboards, you ran it up the wall, or, or maybe you did like, you have it come up and then do a 90 degree into the wall. You could put LEDs in. 